Hey everybody, it's Kendra. So welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. Okay, it's September. It's the end of September. So let's do September faves. So I've got a good mix of stuff today. I've got some hair. I've got a lot, well not a lot of makeup, but you know, a good amount of makeup, some brushes, which is exciting for me because I never talk about brushes. Um, yeah, let's go. Okay, first, hair. So I talked about this in my Ulta haul I did a few weeks ago. So this is by Redken. This is their all soft shampoo and conditioner. So I have the big honkin' liter sizes. One liter? Yeah, it's one liter. So this stuff is really, really nice. Lathers up great. Um, leaves your hair super, super soft. Now, mind you, I do not have really fine hair. My hair's not super thick, but it's just kind of normal. Um, I think if you had really fine hair, this might be a little bit too intense. Like maybe the conditioner would be too much and it might leave your hair a little bit, a little bit way down. For me, I do not have this problem. But so I can't really speak, you know, if you have fine hair, because I don't have fine hair. The thing I love the most about this is the way it smells. Like I'm really a smell person. Oh, I love the way it smells. Um, this product will always take me back to 2006, 2006, um, in the fall of 2006, I studied in Paris and I lived in this horrible little student apartment on Rue Oberkampf in the 11th and the bathroom was so weird and it had this shower that you actually had to step into and then it had this tiny, tiny, thin blue shower curtain, like dark blue shower curtain, but there was no like ledge on the shower. It just had maybe like a centimeter that, you know, for the water to not go out. So basically I flooded my bathroom every time I took a shower. So every time I use this stuff, every time I smell this, I always think of flooding that bathroom. And I just imagine this like dingy bathroom with this horrible dark blue shower curtain. Yeah. Anyway, really love that shampoo and conditioner. Very happy to have it again. Okay, next, skin. So this is a mask. This is by Peter Thomas Roth, and this is the Sulfur Cooling Mask. So I really love to use sulfur-based, well, not sulfur-based, but masks that have sulfur in them um, for acne. I think sulfur is great for killing the bacteria and killing all the yucky stuff in your skin. If I'm like, if I'm feeling like I'm getting a breakout, you know, you can just feel the little guys, like it hurts. Um, I'll use this at night, and then the next day, usually it's definitely gone down a lot. So I like to use this at least once a week. Um, you can also use this as a spot treatment. So this is great. I think I got this off of Sephora. I can't remember. It was either Sephora or beauty.com. Now, mind you, there are a couple different sulfur masks that Peter Thomas Roth does, but I've used both of them and they're pretty much the same. I know Sephora sells one and then it's like, I think, I think it's beauty.com that sells the other one, but I compared them and I think they're pretty much, pretty much the same. Maybe this one is more cooling, I don't know, but really, really like this. Okay, another skin thing. This is by Caudalie. This is their Polyphenol C15 Anti-Wrinkle Defense Serum. So this is just a great serum to use after, you know, one of these more intense masks. I sometimes use it after the, the Peter Thomas Roth mask, but then there is a peel I have that's like a glycolic acid, lactic acid, some other acid peel and it's kind of intense. So I really like to put something like this on after that to just, you know, give my skin some good stuff, some nutrients, just give it like a nice treatment. So really like this, doesn't, you know, it doesn't like sit on your skin, it soaks in, it's not sticky, it doesn't stink, it has a nice smell, just very fresh. It's kind of this like weird white creamy texture, but I usually use this and then some sort of night cream. So really, really like this. And this you can definitely get on Sephora and beauty.com. So it's definitely available in the US now. I really didn't have to buy this when I was in France, but I did. Anyway, okay. Another thing, um, this is by Hemp's. This is their Ultra, Mi Ultra Moisturizing Herbal Lip Balm. This is just a really great lip balm. It has a nice smell. Um, just feels really smooth on your lips, like very moisturizing. And I just like the way it feels. It's just, yeah, it's smooth. It's not, it doesn't have any like chunks or any texture. Sometimes I feel that some lip stuff, some lip balms just have a little bit of grit or they're just, they're not smooth, but this stuff feels really, really nice on your lips. So got this at Ulta and I think it's pretty affordable, maybe like $8, I don't remember. Okay, nails. So 
This is by Models Own. So I picked this up before I left France. So this is their polish, just a normal polish. This is not their gel effect polish. So this is in the color Red Alert. And this is just a really beautiful classic red polish and it stays very well. Um, like I said, it's not a gel, so it did chip after a few days, but still for me to go a few days without having chip nails is a pretty big deal. And actually, I think it was a, the day after, maybe two days after, uh, after I did my nails, I was at the salon getting my hair done. And when the girl was washing my hair, she asked me if my nails were gel and I was using this. So my nails were not gel, but it just looked really, really good. Looked like gel. So really like this. If you can get your hands on Models Own, definitely do so. Um, you can't get it in the US. You can order it, but shipping's just like super, super expensive for the US. But yeah, you can get it in Europe. Really, really like Models Own. Please Models Own, come to America. I really like your polishes. Okay, let's go into makeup. So first I have three butter glosses by NYX. NYX, NYX, whatever. So this one is in Eclair. This one is called Cupcake. And this one is called Creme Brulee. So this was, the creme brulee is the one I've been wearing the most. That's what I have on today. So it's just like super nudie, very pretty. And it, this, this, like the hemp lip gloss, this um, the lip balm, this stuff just feels really nice on your lips and it smells amazing too. It smells like vanilla frosting and it makes me want to eat cake. So yeah, this very, very nice, very inexpensive and it comes in a crazy amount of colors and it's not super opaque but it's not super super sheer so yes you do get some actual color from it but it's not overwhelming it's not like a lipstick it's still a gloss okay next product this is the Lorac Pro 2 palette so this is like the Lorac Pro 1 but it's just cooler colors cooler shades so I am not a very cool tone person so I never really was interested in getting this um, but then I was doing makeup for someone and she said she was more cool toned. So I was like, oh, what do I do? So I wanted to pick this up, but I've actually really enjoyed using this for myself. Um, I haven't been playing around with all the colors because I do think some of them are a little bit too cold for me, but some of these lighter shades are quite nice, like these ones. I think I used the Nectar today and then I did a mix of like the Chrome and the Cool Gray. So yeah, really, really like this. Good quality shadows, you know, like the first Pro palette. Very blendable, really easy to use. Yeah, not a lot of fallout, just, just good quality stuff. I really like Lorac, um, Lorac shadows, except for that one summer palette. Still can't get over that. Okay, another makeup product. This is by Anastasia, and this is her Dip Brow Pomade in Medium Brown. So I love this stuff. I just picked this up maybe two weeks ago at Sephora. Um, it's great. It does your eyebrows so well. I love it. It's oh, so easy to use. Um, you don't need very much. I just take a little bit, put it on the back of my hand. You know, it fills in my eyebrows, but it's not super, super intense. Like you could make it very intense. I just don't. Um, yeah, really good product. I really see what all the rage is about this. It's, it's awesome. And that's all I've used. You know, you just kind of stick your brush in there. Like this will last for Ever. I'll probably have to like, I'll probably have to buy a new one of these before I actually use the whole thing because it'll just dry out, you know. Hopefully this will last me at least a good year. And then the last thing I have. So this is like actually an art product. So these are some brushes I picked up in San Francisco at an art store. So if you're in the Bay Area, check out um, Dick Blick Art Supply Store. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Um, these are all art brushes, but Frankly, I think makeup brushes can be so expensive. So I thought I'm gonna go in there and see what I can find, see what kind of art brushes would work for makeup. So I picked up this. So this is like, this is a camel hair oval wash brush. So this is, you know, natural fiber, natural hair. Um, this I really like, it's a nice size. It's like a perfect contour brush or blush brush. So. I really like it. It's not as soft as some proper makeup brushes, but this was super, super cheap. These were all super cheap except for one of them. Um, yeah, really, really like this. Then my most prized brush is this one. So this is by Corel, and this is 
Well, they say it's synthetic. I was under the impression it was not synthetic. I don't know. But anyway, this is a fan brush. And first of all, I love how long it is. And I just feel so like decadent, you know, putting on highlighter with my little fan brush. I love it. It's so soft. It's super, super soft. So pretty. So really, really like that. And then I also picked up four different brushes, you know, for doing liquid liner and gel liner. I will be honest and I will say I hate doing gel liner. I hate doing cat eyes. I think I've developed this phobia of doing liquid liner because I always mess it up and then I get so angry and I just wipe it all off anyway and just do shadow. Um, and I find that a lot of makeup brushes are too big. So I wanted to pick up some really, really tiny ones to do liquid liner with. And these work so much better than any of like the proper eyeliner makeup brushes I've ever picked up because they're just so small. Look how tiny that is. My goodness, either these brushes are really tiny or I have big hands or both. Um, but yeah, these are really great. And these were probably each maybe like $2 I don't know, two, three dollars. And you know, when you compare this to, you know, a proper like MAC eyeliner brush, I think that's usually like 10 or $15. So you know what, if you're looking for makeup brushes and you don't want to spend a ton of money, go to the art store and see what you can find. So yeah, that's it for my September faves. Uh, just like a nice little random mix of goodies, kind of like every month I say that. Um, but yeah, almost October. I've got a few fun videos planned for October. I'm going to be doing a video on kind of trends for fall and winter. I've had some requests for like what to wear for makeup for the fall and winter. So I haven't decided if I'm going to do like a tutorial with trendy things or just kind of discuss it. Um, so yeah, if you have a preference, let me know. And then I also have a couple Halloween tutorials planned as well as kind of a review on you know, like an updated skincare routine. And then also more specifically, like a review of Alpha H. Cause a few months ago I bought a whole bunch of Alpha H products and I've had a few people recently ask if I still am in love with these products. So I want to go through the Alpha H products I still am crazy about. And then the other ones that are sort of like, yeah, like they're fine, but I wouldn't repurchase them. So anyway, those are a few things I'm kind of working on at the moment. So I hope you guys are doing great. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.